How's it going guys? Jack and Matty with the Toasty Bros. And today we're gonna help you through the trials and errors of buying a pre-built. In this video, we're gonna talk about some things that you should know if you're shopping for a pre-built gaming PC, whether you have already bought one or you're shopping around. And we're also gonna tell you things that you need to keep an eye on and be sure to do when you get your PC at your door. But before we dive into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by ProtoArc and their XM01 combo. Their XM01 combo features a foldable full-size Bluetooth keyboard with scissor switches and wireless mouse. With the keyboard's low profile keys and folding design, it's perfect for anyone on the go. It's optimally designed for business travelers and workers with mobile office needs. This thing is super easy to set up with its multi-device connection and it's great for laptops, tablets, and even smartphones. Whether at home or on the go, this combo is a reliable and convenient choice for all your typing needs. Check out the link in the description to get one now on pre-order and use code TOASTYBROS to enjoy a more favorable super early bird price. Big thanks again to ProtoArc, now let's get back to the video. So step number one, and this is for the people who haven't bought a PC yet is verify the company that you're buying from. So number one, make sure the company is actually legit and real. If it's too good to be true and it's a really good deal, then it's probably fake. But just do a little bit of research, you know, see if they have a better business bureau, see if they have any previous ratings and see if you can actually find any like reviews of someone who's actually bought any of their PCs. That's really not too hard to do. I wouldn't buy from a company that has not really sold anything has no proof of it because you might not end up getting your PC. So now that you've verified that the company is legit and real, make sure that the company's standards actually comply with what you like. So for one, can you get the PC in a timely manner? Now, some people don't mind waiting a couple months for a really high-end pre-built that has custom liquid flowing through it and everything. Some people want their PC on that Amazon Prime two-day shipping. So definitely recommend just checking to see the company's shipping policies, see how long it usually takes, what's the lead time. And then lastly, make sure that the company's warranty lines up with what you want. There actually is quite a few pre-built companies out there that offer no warranty whatsoever, especially when you're shopping on eBay and Amazon or from some websites, you might find that they don't really offer a warranty or at least it's not written out anywhere. And at that point, that means the computer could literally show up broken and they can say, eh, that's not really our problem. Sorry about that. So we recommend trying to find a company that's very upfront about their warranty. For example, we offer a one year parts and labor warranty. That's very straightforward. So you know, if anything goes wrong, we're going to fix it. Now, let's say you bought a PC from our PC business, PC bros or another PC company out there and it shows up to your door. What should you do first? Now, what you're going to do is unbox your PC, make sure there's no visual signs of very bad damage to the computer because things happen in shipping. When you're shipping a big box like this, stuff's gonna move around. And what you're gonna wanna do is once you unbox your computer, just do a little visual inspection. Is there any damage? Is there anything that may have gotten unplugged? You can do that easily by taking off the side panel screws right here. It may be glass, it may be acrylic. It really just depends. You unscrew the side panel, look inside, verify that the 24 pin power connector is in there securely. The CPU power connector in the top left needs to be plugged in all the way. And just make sure there's nothing that looks out out of the ordinary. Now, this is your first PC. You might not know what out of the ordinary is. You might just want to plug it up and see if it turns on. And if it does turn on, you're good to go. But if you want to make sure before you dive into setting up your setup and everything, you might want to open up the computer and make sure nothing got loose in shipping. Because even with our business, it does happen sometimes. We can only do so much with shipping, but we do our best to make sure nothing like that happens. A lot of gaming PCs, especially higher end ones, come with Instapack foam inside the PC to protect it while shipping. Please, please, please open up your PC and remove that. That would be a great time for you to inspect whether or not something got loose in shipping, but you definitely need to remove that to be able to use the computer and not have it turn into an oven and overheat and pretty much die. Now, Matt and I review a lot of pre-builds here, and obviously we don't review our own pre-builds because that would just be weird, but when we look at a lot of the pre-builds, we notice a lot of them are very outdated, and we don't mean hardware, we mean software. So a lot of them are usually going to be always running Windows 10 or Windows 11, but they'll often be running very old builds or very old versions. So we always recommend typing in update you can just literally type in up and it'll pop up. You just make sure that your Windows is completely up to date. Keep refreshing it. I would recommend honestly checking for updates like once a week if you really want the latest and greatest and you want the best performance. And we also recommend checking those graphics drivers too, whether you have an AMD, Intel, or an NVIDIA card, make sure those drivers are up to date. Now, sometimes there will also be generic Windows drivers that are installed for the graphics cards. Those usually don't always cut it. Now, some older cards, yes, that's all they can take, but let's say you have something like this. RTX 3050, you need to actually go to NVIDIA's website if the company hasn't already done it and make sure that you have NVIDIA control panel and GeForce Experience installed because GeForce Experience is what will actually install the updates and keep the drivers up to date. The NVIDIA control panel is often just installed by Windows. It's generic. It might look like it's done, but I can promise you it's not totally done. That's one thing we really pride on at PC Bros to make sure the customer doesn't have
have to do that. And a really good way to tell if your drivers are out of date is if you go to launch the game and it says something like, hey, you're running an old driver, even if the game launches, don't ignore that because otherwise you're gonna have problems in your game, you're gonna complain, you're gonna be very upset, but at the end of the day, you're the one who is responsible for it. Now this other one might be pretty obvious, but if you're coming from console and switching to PC, you might not know that you have to go out of your way to install game launchers to be able to install, well, your games. So we got Steam, we got the Epic Store, we have, well, EA Play now, it was Origin, we have Battle.net, and there are a bunch out there that you wanna install if you're gonna play the latest games. Obviously, Steam is the one we recommend you start with because the majority of games are on Steam, but exclusive games like Call of Duty Warzone, Battle.net. So you wanna install all of those and make sure you have everything up and running for your games. And if you're struggling to get those installers installed under your pre-built PC, definitely head over to the PC Bros YouTube channel where we have a guide teaching you step-by-step -step on how to install the game launchers that you can use to play your favorite games. Now, depending on the PC company, there may be things called bloatware installed on your PC. A lot of the bigger PC companies out there install programs in the PC. Most of the time it's because they have some sort of contractual obligation with these companies, whether it's an antivirus you don't need like McAfee or some other like program that's tied into the PC. You can save a lot of space and resources in terms of CPU power and RAM usage by uninstalling these programs and making sure they're not running on your system. We really recommend you do that if you are struggling with, let's say your RAM is maxing out or your CPU is running much higher than it should be, we highly suggest uninstalling all bloatware and it will make your PC experience that much better. So those are just a few of the tips and tricks when buying a pre-built, but obviously even if you build your own PC or you buy a pre-built, we do recommend checking out the Toasty DIY and the PC Bros YouTube channel. We'll have links in the description down below. One of those videos is awesome because I show you how to do SFC scan now in the CMD to look for corrupted Windows files that helps blue screens. I also show you how to do all the Windows updates, the graphics updates, and I even show you how to go through and remove programs and how to find ones that are unnecessary to have, just like we talked about. So I hope you guys found this video entertaining or informational or all of the above. And if you want to learn more about our PC selling business, PCBros.tech, definitely check the link in the description down below. And also dive into our YouTube channel. If you're new here, we make a lot of videos about gaming PCs and pre-built gaming PCs that you may or may not should buy because some of them are not that good. So definitely take a look at those videos if you want to be entertained and informed. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. So we know we already talked about it quite a bit, but we do recommend PCRose.tech for your first pre-built if you don't want to build it yourself. And hey, even if you do want to build it yourself for just $10, we do offer build consultations where we can fully plan the build for you. PCBros.tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and you know what, we didn't talk about it, but you can buy merch over at PCBros.tech. He has code TOSYBROS2 on tech checkout to save 2% <laughs> your next purchase. See you guys later, goodbye. We messed up this entire video, but you guys get you that did. one. You we get did. to keep that one in there. <laughs>